let's look at set two. This set was deceptively simple. What I mean by that is usually when you have graph based uh, questions, stuff like this, uh, what is um, the general tendency or even the recommendation that I give to my kids is whenever you see a graph of or of uh, some information of this sort, best thing to do is make a table and then solve. Sadly, if you went down that path for this set, it would be a problem because this set doesn't really require you to engage in that level of processing. It is very, very straightforward. Where this question is more challenging or let's say more trickier than what it is in than what it actually is. The fact that there are lots of terms mentioned and all of them are given in the form of a paragraph. So you have to be very careful while reading and keep recording what those terms mean along the way. So this graph we'll get to later. Let's read what is given below. The figure above shows the schedule of four employees, Abani, Bahani, Danny, and Tini, which we will refer to as A, B, D, T from now, whom Dhoni supervised in 2020. Altogether, there were five projects which started and concluded in 2020 in which they were involved. And within the graph, we have the five projects, project one to five. Okay. For each of these projects and for each employee, the starting day was at the beginning of a month and the concluding day was at the end of the month. Okay. And these are indicated by left and right endpoints of the corresponding horizontal bars, the different horizontal bars that we have here. Okay. Even within this graph, if you want to see red color corresponds to Abani, green color corresponds to Bani, black color corresponds to Danny and yellow color corresponds to Timmy. Although there is no legend specifying that it is very apparent from the recordings given. Now the second paragraph is where all the terms are specified for each employee his or her total project month is the sum of the number of months he or she worked across the five projects while his or her annual completion index. So before we get to annual completion index, there is a term called project month. which is number of months worked this is the first definition given next while well, annual completion index is the weighted average of the completion percentage assigned from the different projects okay there is an annual completion index, which is the weighted average which was what was precisely what was weighted average of the completion uh, percentage assigned from different projects. Weighted average of completion percentage and the important thing here is months per weights. Mentioned here with weights being the corresponding number of months he or she worked in these projects. For each project, the total employee month is the sum of the number of months four employees worked on this project. Now see the tune has switched. This was for an employee. These two information points were for an employee. Now the information points that we are going to get are for the project. So the total employee month month is the sum of the number of months four employees worked on this project. Okay. While the completion index, now it is not annual completion index. It is simply completion index. Completion index is the weighted average of the completion percentage assigned for employees who worked in this project with weights being the corresponding number of months they worked in this project. Can I say this is same as earlier? 
definition wise same as earlier it is just that it is for a project previously it was for an employee so we have our four terms let's get to individual statements and check if they are true false whatever it is first question which of the following statements is r true the total project month was the same for the four employees for abani let's write how many project months she had two here two here uh, one two three four five here so abani had nine project months what about bani two three Sorry, two, four, and three. Bani also had nine months. What about Danny? Danny. Danny was black. So three, three, two, one. Also nine months. And finally, Tinny. Tinny had two, two, three, two. Also nine. So number of project months for all the employees was actually same. So the first statement is true. Second one is the total employee months was the same for the five projects. For the first project, two, 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 six employee months. For the second project, we had three and two, five. We've already found a discrepancy. No, these are not identical. So answer to the seventh question has to be only one. Next one now. Which employees did not work in multiple projects for any of the months in 2020 basically what this question is asking is if the red columns are overlapping in any range or the green columns are overlapping in any range or the black columns are overlapping in any range or if the yellow columns are overlapping in any range because red green black and yellow correspond to the four employees red ones can you see there is no overlap at uh, from at this July starting point, you can see one project is ending and then a new project is starting. There is no overlap. There is not a single day on which uh, Abani was working on two projects. So Abani is there. Then let's look at the green ones. No overlap here. No overlap here. So Abani and Bani both should be in our answer. Let's look at Danny. Black ones also don't have any overlap. But when it comes to Tini, the yellow ones, hopefully you can see in the September to October month, there is an overlap. So apart from Tini, everyone should be counted. Which employees did not work in multiple projects? Only Abani, Bahni and Dani. Basically three out of four. Okay. Question nine. The project duration measured in terms of the number of months is the time during which at least one employee worked in the project. Which of the following pairs of months had the same duration? Let's look at the first project. Started in January, went on till March. So it had, had a duration of three months. Second project started in February, went on till May, had a duration of three months. Third project started in April, ended in September. So went on for five months. Project four started in July, went on till December. Duration of five months. And project five started in September, went on till January. Duration of four months. So when the question asks me, uh, which of the following pairs of project had the same duration? Can you see project one and project two have the same duration? Project three and project four have the same duration. But there is no cannot be determined on option. Because the question was, which of the following pairs? So you only have to look at which of the following pairs. Among the pairs given, of course, the correct answer is option D, project 3 and 4. And our life is happy. Last question. The list of employees in decreasing order of annual completion indexes. Okay. Now see. List of employees in decreasing order of annual completion indexes. Annual completion index was weighted average of the completion percentage where months were weights. Do you remember months were identical for all four employees? So I don't really have to divide by nine. I can simply find the summation and my work will be done. For Abani, I have two months at 100. So 200. 
again, two months for hundred. So 200, five months for 80. So 400, 200, 200, 400. Abani ke liye relevant number is 800. Let's look at Bahani, green one. Two months ke liye 100, four months ke liye 75. So 200 plus 300, 500. 500 plus three months ke liye 90, 270. Total 770. For Danny, let's look. Three months, black three months is mm, 270 plus 300, so 570. 570 plus 200, so 770. 770 plus 100, so 870. And finally, for Tinny, two months ke liye 80, so 160. Two months ke liye 100, so 200. Altogether, I've got 360. 360 plus 300 is 660. 660 plus 200 is 860. See if I have to arrange them in decreasing order, it will be D, T, A, B, which is present in option A. And that is the entirety of this set.